Hello everyone, I'm Captain Devil Soni and uh, today we are learning RMP which is Radio Management Panel with my first officer Rishabh. Hi Rishabh. Hi sir. Hi. So Rishabh, today uh, we will learn uh, this panel which is called RMP which is Radio Management Panel. So from this panel we manage a radio. What does it mean? that we manage our frequencies like which frequency to set and uh, changing frequency from standby to uh, active frequency and then uh, you know to uh, like switching from VHF1 to VHF2 uh, all those things we will be managing from this okay, okay so, so should we continue yes sir so Rishabh as you can see this is VHF1 okay you can see there is a green light here Yes, sir. So it means VHF1 is selected. If you press this, then VHF2 is selected. If you press this, then VHF3 is selected. Now, what does it mean? Let's say VHF1 is selected. So this window, particular window, active and standby course, whatever is the frequency, it belongs to VHF1. Okay. Okay, sir. So let's say on active frequency, is one to one decimal nine okay so and this is standby frequency so let's assume that one to one decimal nine is a ground frequency okay um and you know that your, your next frequency will be tower frequency let's say so you will keep the tower frequency on the standby window okay so once the atc tells you um you know uh, switch over to or uh, change over to tower frequency then you will press this this switch or this uh, the knob then this will this standby frequency will come to active will become active so can we put the we know after the tower it comes the uh, approach yes so if we can place the approach on vhf2 and we can switch that to so next position i mean um vhf2 is for a different purpose many of the times like uh, VHF2 is usually used to keep a emergency frequency which is 1 to 1 decimal 5 okay or maybe sometime when you want to speak to you know uh, your company frequency okay or let's say you are going from place A to place B uh, let's say you are in you are with Kolkata but Kolkata asks you to contact Dhaka and you have to remain with Kolkata also so you will keep Kolkata on VHF1 and you will communicate with Dhaka on VHF2. Okay. Once the communication is established and once the talk is over with Dhaka, then again VHF2 you will use for emergency 1 to 1 decimal 5. Okay, sir. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So, so on VHF2, generally we keep 1 to 1 decimal uh, 1 to 1 5 or maybe the company frequency or maybe if if we want to, uh, you know, uh, communicate with any ATC for a temporary, you know, I mean, uh, uh, for some short duration. Okay. Okay. Got it. Then this is VHF3, which we generally is used for ACAS. Okay. Then this is HF1. Okay. So when we fly over oceanic uh, area, okay, let's say if you are going from Mumbai to maybe Dubai, okay, or maybe from Trivandrum to Dubai, Okay, so there's a, a, a Mumbai radio in between. Okay, so we call uh, Mumbai radio, Mumbai radio. So we call an HF. Okay, and then we set the HF frequency here. Okay, and we can always, as you, as we have learned, standby, we can put it on the active, like this. Okay, okay sir. Then this is HF2, another HF2. Okay, so that is important. This knob is used to set the frequency. So let's say I have set um, 118 decimal 1. With this, using this, you can only change the standby frequency, not the active, because active you're continuously, you know, talking to. Okay. okay. So let's say if you want to, if you want to change it to 1222 decimal, uh, or maybe let's say um, 118 decimal 9th. So you can, uh, you can use this to change, or maybe 118 decimal 8. Using this knob, you can change it. Okay, this bigger knob is to change the frequency 
before the decimal before the decimal and this is used to change the frequency after the decimal okay okay and then you can if you want to change over then you can change it like this okay now uh, rishab you must be wondering what about these yes sir okay so let's say if you lose your both your mcdu okay uh then in that case uh, because most of your frequencies are tuned via mcd or mcd okay so when you when you select or when you you know uh, yeah when you select the ils on the mcd then the or maybe the vr uh, many of the times then it will auto select the frequency okay but let's say if you lose both the mcd you had a bad day okay so using this standby navigation can you see this standby navigation yes sir using the standby na navigation once you switch on this standby navigation then you can use uh you can you you can manually tune or you can use the standby navigation what does this mean like you can you can set the frequency of a vr can you see this there's a, there's a changes here yes sir so let's say if we are you want to uh, you know tune the uh, delta papa november frequency yeah. okay then you can change the you know frequency here and then can you see the course yes sir let's say you want to track 000 so or maybe let's say 060 so you can change the course from here understood sir yes. because you are unable to use this using the frequency using this that's why you're using the standby navigation function from rmp okay sir okay you are unable to use the ils frequency or ils tuning from here that's why you will uh, then you may use ils from here okay same goes for mls which is not in use and adf in uh, for adf also we can we can use in bfo as you've started uh, you know i mean during a cpl yes, so it's a, it's a beat frequency oscillator okay but practically we don't use this practically we use only vr and ils thank you sir any doubt rasha no sir okay great thank you thank you sir thank you thanks for uh, watching this video and uh, this a320 is a very nicely uh, it's a very nice cockpit and very easy to manage and it's fun to fly and in case you have any doubts please comment below and we will be happy to answer those queries thank you